In the future, wars will still be fought for honor, glory, and survival. Only the enemy will change. <laughs> Interplanetary war has been declared. A dedicated group of individuals has volunteered to serve their government. Casper Van Dien, oh, Dina Meyer, Denise Richards, Jake Busey, Neil Patrick Harris, Patrick Muldoon, Michael Ironside, and Clancy Brown. Okay, that's Starship Troopers is directed by Paul Verhoeven, veteran of the science fiction films Robocop and Total Recall. Okay, let's go again. The bugs send another meteor our way, but this time we're ready. Planetary defenses are better than ever. Starship Troopers, based on the 1959 Robert Heinlein novel about interstellar war with giant intelligent insects, follows a group of friends, beginning with their sheltered years at school. Boy meets girl. I don't want him to get in the way of uh, my career. Boy loses girl. She winds up falling for someone else. Boy gets another girl. I'm, you know, hopelessly devoted to him. And boy eventually gets back to the other girl. So we have that, uh, that love triangle thing going on. To earn citizenship, the friends enlist in the armed forces. Join the army, it's great, you know. You have to be, and if you want to be, uh, become a citizen, you have to join the federal service. It's going back to the idea that sacrificing yourself for your country is a good thing. Fresh meat for the grinder, eh? To help your friends survive is a good thing, even if you die yourself. Most of you will not live to be in the mobile infantry. Trouble is, you are not good enough the way you are. Make it your side. Sergeant Zim is trying to transform them from who they were before they became recruits. There's a handful of guts in the whole bunch of you. It's a shock course in becoming part of the society. Captain, we're in the path of an unidentified object moving toward us at high speed. Xander is a uh, lieutenant in the fleet which is the future name. Three, two, fire! Carmen's been working with Xander. She respects him and, uh, you know, looks up to him. It took more than a year for model builders and special effects artists from Sony Imageworks, Industrial Light and Magic, and Boss Film to construct the vessels that would carry the troopers to their confrontation with the alien insects. It's a movie about Paradise Lost 2, of course. The innocence of youth is replaced by the, 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 the cruelty and the, the ed hard edge uh, of, of war. So this has got all of this. Is this the right hit in here? Phil Tippett, the special effects master known for bringing personality to his fantasy creatures, designed the insects. He created an entire alien military hierarchy, including ground troops, air support, and firepower. 
John, if you could just uh, yeah. you know, focus on sugar. What we're trying to, to achieve is a palpable feeling of weight and mass and a lethal quality that will allow them to feel like they are moving quickly but still have scale. We felt that it would be interesting to go back a little bit more to the Second World War. Clearly, our bugs and insects are mean. They're evil, they only have one thought, is kill whatever is close to them. That felt much more like a Second World War situation where you would know that the enemy was bad. For a man who is in a rack of uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a scary film. <laughs> <laughs> 14 feet tall, They're disgusting, crazy, They're just intense, and they swarm upon you like like Whoa. ants swarm upon something. Yeah, that's good. Do it again. In all the rehearsals, we try to give them an illusion and, and some knowledge about what the shot would look like and where the enemy was coming from, how high the enemy would be, what kind of moves it would make, how fast it would move. It takes a lot of concentration to go, okay, you know, there is a giant arachnid thing that's 12 feet high that's coming at me screeching and screaming and squealing and going 35 miles an hour. And here I was a bug, and this, this was more like, to really frighten them and say, the bird comes forth, now it's attack! This is such a giant movie, so many aspects to think about. Big movies like this, you can compare and exaggerate, of course, in building the Notre Dame. We don't even know who the architect is. There's a lot of people, thousands and thousands of people who worked on it, but it's a really collective effort. Okay, let's try again. It is the dream of everybody that looks at the sky and realizes that there is something else there.